so guys so a quick video today um, another compressor replacement but that's not what I'm here to show you nor is my first uh, gray tank of R410A but I've got a carrier package unit just like any other um, just a little bit of extra here so probably don't see a whole lot of these on the west coast if you're on the east coast you might see these we have open rack refrigeration down in the store so they have to control the humidity so carrier makes a what they call a humidimizer so discharge hot gas solenoid will open and feed bypass the condenser coil and feed the reheat coil comes back out of the reheat coil through those expansion valves and the bulbs are mounted inside the compressor section here so you can see the cluster that is our equalizer tubes and our TXV bulbs so we're gonna straighten all this up I'm gonna show you how I like to do it Typically, I like to do it on startup, but here I am and I've got the time, so we're going to straighten all this stuff up. So, I like to just take a little quarter inch tubing, split it, and get everything wire tied. It's not the most beautiful thing, but I can walk away from this and know I'm not going to be back changing a TXV or fixing one of these lines. So. Basically, your normal cooling operation. This is stage one. Discharge goes through the condenser coil as normal. This is your liquid line coming out. So you can see your liquid line does not feed straight into the evaporator. It's up there. comes through here so normal cooling this solenoid energizes allows the flow back over and then into your evaporator when it dehumidifies via the humidistat that is in the return duct discharge goes up this solenoid closes so we feed hot gas not over to that solenoid because it's closed but down into our reheat coil out of our reheat coil into the TXV which in turn feeds back over to our evaporator so we're actually using two types of metering device normal cooling you use your fixed orifice as usual in reheat you feed the reheat coil and you use the expansion valve to feed back so keep that in mind tie these up I wish they could do it at the factory but they don't like to do it and that's the number one cause of failure of these things is these lines rub through 